Hello Taurus and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. You have the Page of Cups as your overall energy this week. So you're going to get some type of a message this week. All right, maybe a message about commitment or a message from a Taurus or a Leo. Okay, um, so you're having to face the strength to be able to do something this week, Taurus. Maybe you're facing having to make a head over heart decision and you're finding the strength but then to do that. All right, because I'm seeing that singles, um, you were dealing with a situation with someone in the past where there was deception um, and someone was withholding information from you, keeping secrets. And this caused the relationship to crumple down, to crumble apart. And this was very emotionally draining for you. And so you kind of lost hope in this relationship. And you kind of, this was also a blow to your self-esteem, Taurus. You know, um, you know, the, the blow to your self-esteem was due to the discovery of whatever it was that was being withheld from you. You've had this on again, off again relationship in the past with someone, someone, um, who was lying to you and you haven't quite healed from the past yet. You, you are finally trying to get over these, this betrayal that happened in the past. And you're very hopeful. Someone in the situation is feeling very hopeful because someone has the bravery to come forward to give an offer or to reach out to communicate to you, to communicate with you rather, when the two of you probably hadn't communicated in quite some time. There could be some type of gossip or spying that's going on in the situation. And one of you at one point felt like you you know, you didn't want to take a risk on this relationship anymore. It wasn't worth the effort or the leap of faith. And you felt like you were better off out there exploring your options. You left the relationships feeling a bit bitter, a bit salty about what happened. But I'm seeing that you, um, let's take a look here. Someone could have left you for someone else. You know, maybe even a friend or like your own friends, your own family, possibly only to find out that it wasn't what they thought it was you know all it glittered was not gold in this situation and someone realizes that they wasted their time but you know it was because at the time in the past you felt it was time to go after you found out about this infidelity and so yeah this person realizes that they made a mistake and this person has thought long and hard about the situation. And so it looks like they were on their way back. So that's what your overall energy is about. Page of Cups. Communication about love. So someone from the past, someone that you walked away from, or walked away from you, could be a Gemini. I'm saying Capricorn, Aquarius... Um, Taurus, whoever walked away from you in the past, uh, Sagittarius as well, Aries, Pisces, someone's coming back. Leo, I think, I think I left out. I did say that at the beginning. Um, this is someone that wasn't willing to put in the work or the effort in the past to, um, keep the relationship going. You know, you got to put in work and effort to sustain a relationship. And this person just wasn't willing to do it in the past. And now that they left the relationship, left a relationship that they were unhappy in, they are wanting to manifest something new with you. you know, as above, so below. Someone's ready to manifest something new. And this could have been a situation that they, they you know, I've had, I see thinker. This is like a constant thinker. Someone is really giving a lot of thought to the situation. Because, you know, not only do they have the have it on their conscience that they they treated you poorly in the past, they also have it on their conscience that, you know, they left you for someone and it didn't work out. So they're really trying to strategize on how to come back. And you know, if you will even take them back. Someone is definitely ready for something new they want to try this again with you they want to make this like new again they want to start over 
wipe the slate clean because they realized where they went wrong. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so all of this may not be exactly the same for everyone. Someone is ready, Taurus, to take action on what they want. They're ready to bring the, the, the fire, the flame back into the relationship. So you do have someone returning and you may get communication from this person out of the blue. Just unexpectedly. This was someone that was a player. They were not committed to this relationship in the past. They were committed to you when you were around but behind your back. Who knows what was going on? So, you know, it's only a matter of time before this person comes back. They're coming back to try to rebuild the relationship and prove themselves to you all over again. And for most of you, this is someone that makes you very happy. Someone from the past wants to make the effort now. They want to make the effort and give this relationship a chance and bring the playfulness and joy back into the relationship. Now it's going to take trust. It looks like the trust has to be restored in this relationship. And we also have divine timing is at hand. Now, divine timing does talk about waiting. This does, and I'm not, I don't want this to be misconstrued. I'm not saying sit around and wait for a lifetime. I'm not saying sit around on your laurels and do absolutely nothing. I'm saying focus on you. Nurture yourself. This is a time for self-love. Figure out what it is that you want to do, you know, in the meantime. If this, this relationship is what you want, it looks as though it may take some time. Think about what it is that you want. Pursue what it is that you're thinking about. Because I felt like that was being misconstrued um, in the readings in the past. This time it's going to be about cooperation instead of competition. What's yours is yours and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete as there is an abundance for all and you have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. Let's go back. Let's rewind. Cooperative partnerships. It's going to be about cooperation instead of competition the next time around. Because some of you felt like you had to compete in your own relationship because of infidelity. Take a divinely guided chance. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk. And you're ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. Keep in mind there. Let's rewind. Divine guidance. You're being guided. And take that divinely guided chance if that is what you want to do. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you. You make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. So you have new and more meaningful opportunities coming in for some of you. Someone is interested in rebuilding this relationship. They realize where they went wrong. Not for all, but for some, right? This person wants to heal the family issues. This person is all about healing, forgiving, and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay. So this person wants to bring back the lighthearted energy of this relationship. This is someone that wants a partnership. So you're having partnerships and abundance, abundance of love returning into your life. This person wants to return the lightheartedness to this relationship. Things have been heavy for quite some time and they want to make things fun again like they used to be. This is something that has the potential to happen very soon, so express your love. Or this is someone coming in to you to express their love. <laughs> For some of you, this brings you joy. This makes you happy to have this person back into your life. Okay, Holy Spirit, what advice do you have? Let's see, let me grab the right deck. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for Taurus moving forward? What advice do you have for Taurus 
big happy changes within the next few weeks and it's up to you. And at the bottom of the deck, get all the cards lined up. Don't stop. All right, Taurus, this concludes your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. If you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, you can do so by booking it directly on my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. And for any questions, you can direct those to angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com. And don't forget Instant Go. For those of you who are iPhone users, you can download the Instant Go app, and this will allow us to open up a chat dialogue because I only have the chat option open right now so the text option only and I can give you some advice on your situation I can do a mini reading and tell you what it is that I see for your situation but let this be for something simple because you'd be better off with a um, a personal reading if you have something that requires a lot of detail all right everyone I wish you the absolute best Thank you so much for watching. And for those of you who are new, I invite you to subscribe. And if it resonated, do me a favor and hit the like button below. Thank you, everyone. And I will see you again next week. Bye for now.